Hello everyone and welcome back to Colibri Productions. I am Colibri and today we are playing Planet Zoo. And this video, I swear, is cursed because I have literally tried to start it and I have recorded probably eight hours worth of content for this one video alone. And every single time I either have my computer that has decided that it's going to stop working halfway through or I've accidentally hit the button, the, the soft key that starts and stops my recordings, or my son has barged in, or something has gone wrong. So we're going to attempt to get through this together. We're going to attempt. Knock on wood. I need a, I need a piece of wood. Anyway, so... <laughs> This might look, as I hit the microphone, this might look a little bit different from the the one that we had last week. And uh, you guys, you, okay, so long story short is I have been watching a lot, and I mean a lot of Planet Zoo videos on YouTube, um, trying to get a feel for what other content creators are doing and how they're doing their, their areas and things like that. And I figured that maybe starting in africa was a little bit of a stretch it was a little bit of a um a, an over jump i guess like I, it's it's too much for somebody who's still pretty new to the game so we decided i decided to continue on a different zoo and i'm gonna just start with australia and i still wanted to do um an area over here on the left hand side where you walk in so yeah this is my little my zone right now for coming into the zoo and there's a couple of information booths there's a staff room there's the turnstiles this whole area at some point is going to just be filled with trees so that's why i have not built a roof i have not built um really anything and then once you exit out of the uh the garden area, once you exit out of the greenhouse area, you're going to end up in Australia. And you can see how I've kind of started this whole like pathing unit. I wanted something very symmetrical, but also uh, flowing. So I gave myself some like really nice wide paths. And all of this is uh, the exhibit, uh, the yeah, the exhibit. So you've got your um, I don't even know what this is. What are you? Your blue tongue uh, skink thingy. And at some point, I am going to take all of these plants and duplicate them and put them over here. That way, it's got this nice, like, flow to it. You walk in, you see all the plants, and then boom, you're right there. Haven't decided how I'm going to do all that yet, but we're going to figure it out together, right? And then I have two areas that I'm working on, or I'm going to be working on, in this particular zoo. And, or in this particular section. And the first part of it is going to be the Australian Outback featuring the dingo, the koala, and the red kangaroo. And I have never been to Australia. Um, to be perfectly honest, I've always had kind of a vendetta against Australia because my name is Sydney and it's always been one of those things where everyone always associates my name with Australia. And I'm like, it's not even spelled the same way. Australia is S-Y, and I'm S-I, and it's just, oh, it's always bothered me. I, you know, I, I'm in my mid-30s, and every single time anyone meets me, they're like, oh, like Australia. And I'm like, no, no, not like Australia. Please don't confuse me with Australia. Like Sydney Poitier, or Disney with the D and the S switched. Like, not like Australia. Nothing against you people from down under. Nothing against Aussies. Don't associate me with Australia. It drives me nuts. I have never wanted to go. I don't want to. It's just nothing against Australia. I just don't want to go. So I've never gotten into the whole Australia area. You know what I mean? Like I've never put myself into that where I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I want to know about more about the animals. But that's my tangent. That was my rant. So I've already started building because of course I have. Um, I've started building my Prehistoria area, which is going to have the saltwater crocodile right here, and it's going to have the southern cassowary right here. 
And then obviously I've got a couple of buildings. I might put like a little restaurant right here. Haven't decided yet, but yeah. So the plan is, like I said, I tried recording this video a thousand times and I got halfway through building this area up and then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not recording. I'm not recording. So yeah. So now we're gonna, we're gonna just do this together, I guess. So this is prehistoric prowl. I wanted to give it a very like back in time, you know, stone age, um, Flintstones-y feel to it. And I feel like this is what you got. Like it looks pretty decent. So you walk in and you've got the saltwater crocodile, the southern cassowary, and I am going to keep going with this rock wall right here. You can kind of see how I'm expanding it a little bit. And then, so the southern crocodile is right here. I really, I don't know how I feel about this pathing yet, and not pathing the, the gate, the fence, but I'm okay with it. And then, of course, you've got their nice open area, which I remember that I was supposed to do something last time and I never did it. So we're going to do it right now. So they need less short grass, more soil and more rocks. So we're going to go to terrain. We're going to go to, I guess we'll go to rock first, but all kinds of rock over here. All right, the rock is good. Now we need more soil. So we're going to add some nice soily bits over here. Just to kind of give it its little pop of, um, not pop of color, but like the opposite of that. We're going to give it what it needs. But I like how that looks. But yeah, so you got all this. You got your your crocodile just hanging out there and being all scary looking but he's cool looking i think he's neat i don't know why he's hanging on the lily pads but whatever but yeah so i have this nice little like area for them to just kind of go and do what they need to do and be where they need to be so we did all that i've got a couple of information booths i still i can't figure out how to get this one fixed so I'm going to work on that later. And then we have this whole area. And now I don't know what I want to do with this giant area right here, but we're going to, we're, we're going to figure it out. And then over here, you got your cassowaries. So the guests can look in, they can see. And I wanted to give the cassowaries a very, very overgrown foliage feel like I want them to feel like you're in like Jurassic Park essentially that's disgusting dude that's so gross you're so nasty yucky but like look at this monster of a bird he's huge he, he's huge like he's massive I don't know how tall they actually are but I know they're like the third tallest bird in the world uh, followed by the or like Pre, pre follow whatever the ostrich is first and then it's the emu technically like it's got a couple of inches more on top of the cassowary and then it's the cassowary but it's ginormous they're the tallest asian birds but i wanted to give like this nice little area i wanted to kind of hide the uh the keeper entrance which is right here with all this bamboo and you know you can kind of hide that thing so I think the plan and I really love this I don't know why I love that so much but I do I think the plan for right now is to first of all take this we're gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna move him hmm don't know if I like that. Yeah, okay, that works. But yeah, so we're going to do that. We'll take this guy. We're going to duplicate it. 
move it back, move it over. But the plan for this is to just kind of follow the path a little bit, maybe not necessarily follow it too much, but follow it enough that we can really give it kind of that, that rocky bedrock feel to it. And I definitely want to do that. We're going to spin it just a tiny bit. There we go. And that. And... Mm. And we want to move maybe this rock, move it out just a bit. There we go. Move this one down a little bit. And then move this one down a lot more. Just so that it kind of has this nice little arch going on. Yeah. I haven't decided what I want to do with this though. Maybe let's see. How's that look? Not bad, honestly. Mmm, I don't hate it. And then we're going to add this one kind of right there. And then we want to move this guy like that. like that because we're going to make this whole thing move it up just kind of giving it just a little bit more of a feel to it because we don't want the guests to be able to see too much of the building back there. We want them to be, we want them to feel like they're immersed in the, um, for lack of a better word, immersed in the magic. Come on. There we go. And do that. Spin it. I mean, spin it, let's begin it when you're in a grand and bit, wait, bidding. Oh my gosh. Spin it, let's begin it when you're in it, grin, grin and bear it. I don't know. It's been a while since I've heard the Tailspin theme song. I used to be able to do it. Okay, we're going to do that. And so that whole area has now officially had that. So now we can do this. Move this guy out a bit more. Move him over. And click. There we go. And I like that because it does add Kind of a nice little barrier, but not enough to where you're sitting there going, oh, I see where they put the the pathing. Like it, it, I don't know. It makes it look bigger, I think. I personally think. And obviously, that's still pretty visible. Like you can see the uh, the guest or the staffing area. So eh. It's not a big deal. It's it's annoying, but it's not a big deal. I could probably... I don't know what I'm going to do. 
But, like, I like it because, you know, you walk over there and you kind of see this whole area and the guests don't see everything, but the cast can't or the, the employees can. And let's see, we could probably put... How big does this get? Yeah. Let's get bigger. Put that there and then kind of bring it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. And so you walk in, you've got your, actually, I'm going to move all of these down. So we're going to take that. I like that. Mm, let's see, construction. this there there we go how does that look oh it looks better actually that looks much better And then you've got your, your food and your beverage and your souvenir shops and all that. And what I can do now that we did that, we're going to go to benches. Going to go to the Australian bench. And just kind of pop some things in this area just so that the guests are more comfortable. And put that one there, one here, and I'm not putting too many simply because I don't know where I'm going to actually expand this whole area. You know what I mean? Like I don't where I want to put that. Like I don't know where this path is going to eventually lead. However. Are they the same color? Mm. Yeah, no, they're definitely not the same color. That's fine. Okay, we're going to take that. We're going to duplicate him. Spin it around just to... There we go. And put that there. I definitely wanted to give this whole area kind of a, um, like the vibe that you're not really where you're supposed to be, you know, like it, I wanted it to feel like you're walking back in the middle of time. So we're going to go to trees. Mm -hmm. Australian fan palm. There's another tree that I saw that I really liked and I don't know where it went. you go is it this one no it's not the coconut palm no like it looked like something out of out of the desert and it was cool like it looked like something that a brachiosaurus would eat off of here it is Are those cutting through the... Hang. 
kind of. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, let's see. Because this might actually look really cool. Can they still move that way? Like, can the... Oh, I don't know if they can. Maybe. Oh, I like that. I'm sure they can. Don't dislike that. Actually, I really do like that. And then maybe. Are there any doors? Are there any Australian doors? No, there aren't. What do they use for these? Absolutely bloody nothing. Okay, that's fine. I really do like that. Wait a minute, where is it? Um, vine. Oh. Again, I don't hate that. Ooh, I am actually... Um... I think I might really like that. Oh, it's even better with that. Uh -huh. I really like that. Okay, nope, that's happening. <gasps> that looks amazing. All right, well, let's head over to this one then and do the exact same thing. And bring it up. Bring it in. So proud of the leak. I that ooh, that looks really good. Okay. Yo, <laughs> I like that a lot. I really do. Like it's definitely got a uh a mossy prehistoric feel to it. Ooh, I like. 
Calibri like. Okay, so now what do I want to do with this area? Nature. Oh, actually, not caribou moss. Is that all it is? Wait a minute, what? There's Spanish moss? Oh, <gasps> y'all. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. I like. Mm. I don't know. I liked it from that end. I'm not sure how I feel about it from this end. No. No, no. So let's try mulch. We're just going to kind of put pieces of mulch down here. I want to see something really quick. I saw this on somebody else's video and it got me thinking that that was a good idea. Dang it, I like that. Okay. This other person who does a lot of these content things put their stuff. Come on. They're mulched down like that. That way the clipping is a little bit better. There we go. Why can't I get it to fit? All right, we'll figure that area out later. But I really, oh gosh, I really like this. I am, however, going to add some of this stuff. We're going to put that there. Move it there. Put that there. Put the big one kind of in this area. What are these? Amazon water lilies. Doesn't really fit the theme, so we're gonna actually, here we go. And I love this waterfall. Like if I can back up without it, here we go. I love that. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really do. Let's look for fountain. Mm. I want to give it kind of a fountainy feel. Alright, 
I need to put a rock or something down. There we go. Ooh, too close. And then we'll move this one over here. Rotate it a bit. How did you get put right there? That's weird. Oh my god, where'd it go? Where did it go? Here we go. Why are you so close? There we go. We're going to move you just slightly up and rotate you just slightly that way. There we go. Excellent. And now we're going to go back to construction. like it. Yeah, exactly. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep running? And the I don't understand people. I don't understand. So we did that whole area. Now we got to figure out what to do with this area. What do I want to do with this area? Okay, we're gonna actually pads. Line to grid. We'll make like a little restaurant -y area. There we go. So we'll put just a couple of little benches. Doesn't have to be a lot. We'll put a couple of them and we'll make like a uh, just a cute little quick grab and go area. Apparently I can only do four. Fine. Weird. Are y'all gonna sit down? No, you're just gonna you're gonna meander. That's cool. I understand. We will put here we go. Facilities. Yes, facilities. Drink. We'll put, we'll put the gulpy soda there. We'll put a 
hip shot here and we'll put a coffee here and as far as food goes we just want something easy mm, we can do ice cream and I guess hot dogs like it's not supposed to be the heck was that it's not supposed to be like crazy and go back to construction because I actually not construction facilities benches because I actually wanted to add some nice shade areas oh I like that mm -hmm. I like that a lot Indian. There's a lot of Indian ones. Hmm. Huh. These South American ones are really pretty, though. All right, we want to go not to utilities. Do I have enough space to put another bath? Well, I don't need another bathroom. It's not, it's not that big of an area. Okay, so nature, rock work. We'll put this guy down. The heck? There we go. Move it that way. Mm -hmm. Move it. No, no. That way. Put that guy there. And then last. Is it sticking through? Yeah, it's sticking through. There we go. Okay. I don't hate it. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to take all of these. Every single one of them. Merge them. Duplicate them. Make them go up. Push them back just a tiny bit. And then we'll take this one. We're going to rotate him that way. And then move him down. That way it has more of that slope. Same thing with this one. Rotate him the other way, move him down. Nice. And then let's see if I can't shove a couple of like extra, sheesh, extra rocks in here. And then 
the sky. Rotate him that way, rotate him that way, rotate him down, over, in, there we go. Yeah, I like that. And it's got this nice little area right there. Alright, now we'll go over here. Oh, gosh. Where's the cassowary? I need... You're not a cassowary. There you are. Look at these massive birds. Look at that. Terrifying. Okay, so we want to add lots of foliage over here. We're going to add some bamboo over here. Some more over here. Add one right here. And then we're going to do... Hmm. Not the custard apple trees. Boxtail palm. We'll do a couple of these guys. I definitely want to give it the feel of like, oh, this thing has been here for ages and years, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years. So my plan is to add a ridiculous amount of trees to this whole area and then to add bushes. Ooh. Well, that's neat. Like, add all these bush areas. Drag that there. Drag it there. We're going to add another eight, mil or 8 meters. And I have no idea if any of these plants actually grow together. So I don't like how that's right on top of the food area. Mm. Not you. There we go. Much better. And I mean, it's still in the path, but it's not... I really like that. And then, let's see. Can I put that there? Can I change the rock color? No, I can't. Mm. Well, uh... 
Let's see. We can put that right here. Where did the cassowary sign go? Mm, where'd it go? There it is. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff over here I haven't actually looked at. I'm kind of digging all these. What is this? Koala. I think that's a dingo. Huh. Well, this is kind of nifty. What? Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll add some wall lights. And let's see what it looks like at night. I mean, even though it's technically not night yet, come on. Why are you not turned on? You are turned on, you just suck. All right, whatever, it's fine. Um, go back to daytime. Either way, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I really love that waterfall. <gasps> Look at them. Hi. Scary bird, look at those talons. Hang on, let me get, look at them feet. Those things will rip you in half. Are they, are you looking at the people? You're totally looking at the people. You gonna eat them? <laughs> what was that? Oh God, I love it. Habitat. That was great. Let's, um, I guess let's give you some bedding. Might as well put some bedding right here. There we go. Are you the girl? You're smaller, so I think you're the girl. No, you're the boy. You're the girl. You're terrifying. Ah, oh, you're so scary. Oh my god, you're massive. That's so scary. Okay, now how do I want to do... I really like this. I really like this. I like the way this looks. Let's, um... Hi, buddy. Oh my god. Are you gonna eat the people? Are you gonna be a dinosaur? Don't look at me like that. What did 
cassowary eggs look like? Southern cassowary eggs. Oh, they're green, like three to five green colored eggs. Oh, all right. So let's go ahead and exit out of this because we have, where is it? It's not in blueprints, it's in construction. We have shapes. We have an oval shape. Do we have an oval shape? Do we have a circle? Oh, we totally do. These are huge though, my God. much bigger than I thought they'd be. And they just keep getting bigger. All right, well. Let's see. Crap, what color green are they? They're like Kelly green. Okay. Maybe even a little bit more of that color. No, that's teal. Slightly darker. Yeah. Hmm. My God. <sighs> That's almost perfect. All right, let's see. Duplicate. You want one over here. We're going to rotate it a bit. Trying to make sure that if you look at it, can't really see that it's not oh, I like these merge duplicate move it that way Oh my god. Surface. That's not what I wanted. What? Nope. Why are you being so difficult? Hmm? Okay, we want to go to construction again, I guess. We'll go... There we go. Do that. We 
do that, turn it like that, and one more. There we go. Let's see, we'll add a little bit more. That was not what I wanted. Nature. Um, I guess we can add one of those other bushes. Where'd it go? There it is. Two meters. I guess we're doing a two meter. Just to kind of block it, but not block it so much that. Okay, why does it sound like a warthog? Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't care. The guests can deal with it. All right. I like it. Is there anybody in that staff room? Or keeper hut, rather? No, there isn't. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to duplicate it. Jeez. We're going to put... We're going to put you right here. And then we'll put another one over here. There we go. We'll put... Oh, I'm going to have cassowary babies! <gasps> Give me cassowary babies! Like... Ah, you going to give me babies? Um, excuse me. Your nest is over here. Excuse me. Rude. Wait. Wait. There's one. Oh, crap, I wanted that one there. Give me babies. Hey, don't stress the mama out. Are you the mama? Why do I keep thinking the boy is the girl? <gasps> Are you drinking out of my little lake? Oh, look at you. <gasps> Wait, cassowaries can swim? Oh, uh-uh. No, no. That's terrifying. Oh, that's scary. I love it. Look at him. Her. Look at her. <gasps> You're so cool. You need to go lie down? Go lie down. Just. Oh, God, I love you. I didn't think I was going to, but I love you. <gasps> You're so cool. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna see what it looks like from your first person point of view. Okay. 
Well. Okay. I'm pretty stoked about this. This looks really good. Are you not going to stop to look at the alligator, the crocodile? This looks so cool. I'm just stunned at how awesome this looks from a guest perspective. Thank you for going over here. That's awesome. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> I love this. No, where are you going? You go back the other way. You were supposed to go look at the castle areas. Okay, go look at the crocodiles. Stop running into people and go turn around and look at the crocodiles. What are you doing? Go look at the crocodiles. Look, they're right there. They're right there. I do love this. I love this so much. Okay, I'm getting vertigo. Boom. Your hair is cool, dude. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. And then obviously you got your, your staff buildings. What is that? That is Trade Center, which we don't need. That's Quarantine. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in the staff room. I'm so happy with this. Okay. Well. I think what I'll do, God, I love that. Looks really good. Like, let's see, from a guest perspective, we'll just click on somebody that's walking by. Hopefully. Anybody walking by? You're walking by. Come here, you. From the first person perspective. Oh, I love that. Obviously, I can't see it because they're not looking that way. Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty happy with this. And then I'll work on doing this probably off camera. Like I'll, I'll get all of the rock work up and ready. And then I'll add some more foliage into it. And then next week we'll start working on the dingoes, the koalas, and the red kangaroo. And hopefully, knock on wood, we don't have to record for a million times because... Uh, I wanted, I didn't, I didn't want to do a video of me doing landscaping. I wanted me to do a video of making a habitat. 
So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you putting up with my uh, indecisiveness as far as actual building of a zoo goes. Um, yeah. We're, we're, I don't know. I'm, we'll see how things happen. Like, we'll, we'll work it through. But next week, we'll, like I said, next week we'll do the other uh, three Australian animals. We'll work on that. I'll start working on some more foliage areas, um, things like that. And tomorrow, we are going to do some more Pokemon Snap. So make sure you tune in for that, especially since it is a brand new game. And I don't know about everybody else, but I'm having fun with it. Uh, yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't done so, or you're brand new, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and drop a like down below on the video, join the community discord, all that fun stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a fantastic night and thanks for tuning in.